Hi everyone, I'm Gabrielle. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Today we're going to do inner thighs, quads, triceps, and back. Um, you will need a ball. If you don't have a ball, a little pillow works. And we're going to use the box as well. This is a balanced body Allegro 2 reformer. Just so you can compare it to your springs, if you have a different one, the red spring for me is my heavy spring, then blue is the medium uh, spring, and then yellow is a very, very light spring. Um, some reformers don't have the yellow, so if I'm using the yellow, just go ahead and put the lightest spring that you have on. Um, all right, I am pregnant, so all this is prenatal friendly too. We're gonna come on up, start with a ball, place the ball between the inner thighs, and then have some space between your knees and the shoulder blocks. We're gonna activate that core to start and just warm up that way. So from here, arms up to the ceiling and just over arch that lower back and then over tuck and come right in the middle to your neutral spine. Push your knees into the carriage, squeeze the ball, arms reach up to the ceiling, shoulders pull down. If you felt your rib cage spilling forwards, go ahead and pull those front ribs towards the back ribs. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, draw the belly in and round your upper body forwards. Maybe your hands tap the shoulder blocks and then draw the belly, rebuild the spine to come back up. I'm gonna do it wrong. Try not to pull your hips back like this. As you round forwards, try to keep your pelvis nice and stable. So to help with that, as you pull forwards, draw the belly in, keep trying to pull the pubic bone towards the belly button, almost like you want to tuck, and then stack the spine. Three more. Navel pulls back. It should feel like you're gonna fall forwards a little bit. And two, long lower back. Last one. And arms by your sides. All right, good job, you guys. Grab your straps off the pegs. Let's hold on to the short straps. If the weight is too heavy, you can always readjust to what you would prefer. Okay, so squeeze the ball. Really push those knees into the carriage, grow tall. Feel that tailbone lengthening to the floor. Feel those lower abdominals pull up, in and up. From here, widen your palms. So I really like to do chest expansion, not by like gripping, but really widening and, and spreading those fingertips. Roll the shoulders back. Imagine you wanna pull your triceps apart, but squeeze your shoulder blades together and down. Inhale here, exhale, push back, hold. Grow tall, keep rolling those shoulder heads back. Slowly bring the arms back to the front. And again, press back, hold, squeeze the ball, grow tall, draw those abs in. And slowly back. Keep going, you guys, with your breath. So again, trying not to, as the arms go forwards, try not to push those shoulder heads forwards, roll them back, pull those triceps apart, but squeeze the shoulder blades together and down. And to the front, four more. All about that hold, you guys, and that control back. Long back of the neck, looking straight ahead. Two more. Last one. And bring the arms back to the front. Grab onto your knots. We're going to do a thigh stretch. Arms stay in front for now rolling the shoulder blades back in their pockets. Squeeze the ball, same thing here. Pull your tail to the floor, lift those lower abs up. We're going to hinge back from the knees, so not from the hips. We're going back just in one straight line from knees to crown of the head. Squeeze the ball to come back up. Squeeze the ball, hinge back. It's almost like you wanna push your, hip, your front hip creases forwards as you lean back and back up. So when you come back up, you guys, really squeeze the ball and engage your glutes to help you out. Two more. Last one. Okay, adding on a challenge. We're gonna, without face planting, pull the arms back, keep them by your sides, roll the shoulders back. Navel to spine, keep the arms by your sides as you hinge from your knees. Squeeze the ball, squeeze the glutes. Arms pull forwards once you're back up. Pull back. 
then hinge. Squeeze the ball to come up. Arms forwards. Pull back. Core engaged. Hinge. Squeeze the balls. A lot of work. Arms forwards. Two more. Imagine you're just like one straight plank as you pull back. Last one. And back. Good job, you guys. All right, hook your left strap up. Keep your right strap. Hand, your right hand's going to hold on, well, actually two fingers inside the little triangle. If you don't have this little triangle, just kind of grip onto that knot or right below the loop. Uh, both arms out. Roll the shoulders back. Squeeze the ball. Engage your glutes. Lengthen your lower back. Bend the right elbow. Rotate to the right. The weight's pretty heavy here, you guys, so careful not to face plant. If you've noticed that your right hip pull to the right, push your right hip forwards. Push your knees into the carriage. Lift your spine up out of your hips. You can even look back a little bit more. Slowly come back center. Just three more. Hold. Grow tall. And back. As you rotate to the right, lift your right rib off of your right hip. Working obliques and the back here. Those little muscles around the shoulder blades, around the bra line for the ladies. And back, let's do the other side. All right, both arms out, squeeze the ball. Bend and rotate, hold. Again, push that left hip forwards, push your shoulders down. Slowly come back center. And three more. And two. Good, push those knees down, grow tall. And last one. And back center. All right, you guys, hook that strap back up. Take the ball out, keep it in your hands. Uh, we're going to switch it to one blue spring, so one medium spring. The bar can go down a notch, um, and then carefully step up, one foot on the platform, one foot on the carriage. Okay, so from here, um, actually we're not going to use the ball right away, so you can place the ball down somewhere close to you. Feet are parallel, and then walk your left foot over to the left a little bit more especially for people with longer legs so that you can have, you can feel your inner thighs a little bit more intensely. Okay, pull that carriage in and then stack your spine. Hands can go on your hips, rolling the shoulders back, grow tall. Pull your tail to the floor and actively try to pull your inner thighs towards each other without rolling into the insides of your feet like I just did here. So connect the outside blade of your feet, blades of your feet, into the reformer as the inner thighs are trying to pull towards each other. Let's now slowly press the carriage out to a spot that feels okay to you and hold. Push your feet into the reformer, especially that outside blade. Engage your glutes. Imagine your sit bones trying to pull towards each other. Now as you come in, go really slow and try to grow tall. We're lifting all of the muscles upwards. So it's a lot of work when you're doing this one right, when you're going slow and you're engaging all the muscles. Once the carriage clicks in, don't go back right away. Pull it in, 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 in. Feeling it all right here. And then press back out. So you notice you can just go a little more quickly on the way out, but anchor your feet, lift and pull in as you slowly, slowly bring the carriage back in. If you're doing it right, you should feel a little bit of muscle shake pull, 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 and again, press out, hold, tail to the floor, lower abs, pull in, good, inner thighs trying to connect, but carriage not letting them yet, click with the carriage, pull, 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 one more here, press out, press into the outside blades of your feet, Engaging through your glutes as you slowly, slowly bring the carriage in. Click. Awesome, you guys. Arms by your sides, shoulders down. Press the carriage out. Hold. With a flat back, hinge forwards. You're going to take your outside hand, tap it to your inside ankle that's on the reformer. Bring the carriage back in. 
Press out. Other hand, other side. Back up. Come in. Press out. Hinge and tap. Come back up. Bring it in. Press out. Hinge and tap. Come back up. Bring it in. One more on each side. Press out. Hinge and tap. Come on up. Bring it in. Last one. Hinge and tap. Come on up. Bring it in. Good job, you guys. Grab your ball. The foot that was on the reformer away, pull it back in so it's close to the edge. Place the ball between your inner thighs again. Okay. Keep trying to squeeze the ball. Keep trying to pull that carriage in. From here, hands can go on the hips for now. Come down into your squat position. Let the knees pull forwards a little bit. Don't let them pass your toes. All right. Anchoring all four corners of the feet. From here, just tiny little up and down squat pulses. Keep squeezing through that ball. One hand on top of the other on your forehead. Roll the shoulder blades back in place and widen your shoulder blades. Good. And just squeezing the ball, engaging through your glutes. We're here for five, four, three, two. Hold it down. Pause. Carefully. Lean forwards a little bit. You're going to lift both heels off the reformer, lower them back down. This is small. You can always, if you'd like, place one hand on the bar if you feel more secure. And lift and lower. Keep these small. Lift and lower. Targeting the quads here. We're here for five. And four. Three. Two. Last one, heels down, take the ball out, come on up. Whew, that got me really hot, really fast. Okay, so we don't have to do the other side because it's a light spring, so both legs were working equally on each side. So that's the good news. Carefully step on off. Let's place the ball aside. We don't need it anymore. Grab your boxes, you guys. Place them on the long way. We're staying on that blue spring, that medium spring, and come up onto your knees, onto your hands and knees, facing the straps. All right, let's work some triceps. So, grab the strap, let's grab onto the uh, right strap, hand in the long loop. Knees underneath the hips or slightly in front of the hips, and then left hand can stay right on the corner of the box. Reach your fingertips alongside the box. Make sure your left elbow isn't locked like this. Unlock it. Roll your shoulders back. Go ahead and just tuck your pelvis here for a second and then uh, interiorly tilt and then find your in between your neutral spine. Draw the belly in, roll the shoulders back. Lean a little bit over to your right side so that you're not leaning all the way to the left. We're going to sweep that right arm up and slowly sweep it down and sweep and lower exhale as the arm sweeps up so always try to keep that shoulder pulled away from the ear so even as the arm lowers down we're controlling we're not just letting the shoulder pull back like this so control 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 try not to let the shoulder pike up as the arm lifts Let's do about two more. Good, last one here. And lower it down. Now, grab on, we're gonna grip that strap so that your palm is facing in. From here, roll the shoulders back. Bring the elbow by your side. Again, notice if you're kind of rotating or inclined on one side, level it back out, tricep press. Extend the arm and bend. If you would like to make this a little harder, take your time, but extend your left leg straight back, keeping the hips level. So we're not letting that left hip lift higher than the right. Engage through that core. Good, are your shoulder blades pulling down your back? And then I see this a lot where the upper arm moves like this for tricep press. Try not to move your upper arm at all. Really keep that elbow nice and snug in space. We're here for four. 
three, keep looking down to the headrest, two, and last one, and then hook that strap back up, little cat stretch, wiggling the hips if that feels good, and then grab the other strap, hand in the left, in the left hand in the long strap, unlocking the elbow, reach your fingertips to the floor, roll the shoulders back, again put a little more weight into that left side, sweep the arm back, and slowly back down, control, just picturing that left shoulder blade staying down in its little pocket on your back. A little more heavy into the left knee than the right knee. Two more. Last one and lower the arm. Grip that strap so your palm is now facing in. Pull your elbow by your side. Roll both shoulders back. Extend for your tricep and bend the elbow. Again, same option if you would like it a little harder. Carefully extend your right leg out. Navel to spine and tricep press. Work with your breath. Let it help you. If your leg is extended, try to really stretch that leg out instead of letting it just kind of flop in space. We're here for four more. Two more. Nice, everybody. Last one. Good job. Hook that strap back up. Take a cat stretch. Shake out your hips. And we're going to sit down on the box with our feet on the headrest. Alrighty. So, grabbing that right strap, place your right arm all the way inside the short strap so the strap is above your elbow on your upper arm. Uh, left arm out, draw the shoulders back. Again, make sure you're not sitting in front of your sit bones. You're right on top of the peaks of those sit bones. Inhale, grow tall. Draw the belly in, exhale, rotate, and we hold. So same move basically that we were doing, kneeling, just a little different setup. Drop the shoulders, grow tall. Little tiny rotation pulses. Good, so it's not coming from my arm just pulling back. It's literally coming from my ribs, wanting to rotate and spine, wanting to rotate a little bit more. It's so small. Focusing on the muscles around that, shoulder, that right shoulder blade, we're here for three, two, and one, and come back to center. Go ahead and put that strap down. Let's do the other side. Right arm out, left elbow bent, shoulders pull, pull down, tailbone pulls down, rotate and hold. Good, growing tall, little tiny pulses here. Keep trying to decompress those shoulder blades by pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Left knee keeps trying to pull forwards so it doesn't rotate with you. We're here for four, three, two, and one, and back to center. Keep that strap in your hand, grab the other one. Hold on to the knot, scoot forwards, make sure you have enough room to roll back. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale, rolling back down into half. Roll down. Little C curve here. Hold. The pubic bone is up. The tailbone is tucked under. Under. We're still growing tall. Draw the belly and roll over the hips and stack the spine. Either continue to just go halfway down, especially for the mamas that are pregnant or a little more far along than me. If you want to go all the way down, go for it, you guys. Feel free to carefully let your head go back. Then chin to the chest first, press your low back into the box, draw the belly in, roll over the hips, stack the spine back up. One more. And back up. All right, you guys, go ahead and hook your straps back up. 
step on off of there. So this is when I'm gonna switch over to my one yellow spring. If you don't have a lighter spring than the spring you just had on, keep that spring and instead of stepping inside the well, go right behind your bar instead. So everybody with the, that yellow spring, that really light spring, go ahead and put that on. So just that one spring, step into your well, hands go on the box. Calves are pretty close to that platform there. Go ahead and push the carriage out and lower the chest. Enjoy that stretch. You're pushing the box away as your tailbone and your sit bones are trying to lift up and out in the other direction. Okay, widen your shoulder blades. Unlock your elbows, keeping the arms pretty straight here. We're gonna to start to look up and tilt the chest up. Bend from your mid back. For the ladies, it's right where the bra line is to pull the carriage in. Pause here. So it's okay if your lower back lifted up a little bit so you could lift up a little higher, but we're not doing this, right? Where that we're crunching from the low back. We want to keep that lower back neutral and bend from that mid back. Once you're up here, pull your shoulders back, almost like you want to squeeze the back of your armpits together behind you. Breastbone pulls forwards, push away. Again, navel to spine. Tilt the chest up as the carriage pulls in. Feel those shoulder blades, the tips, bottom tips of the shoulder blades trying to connect. Push away. And four more. And three. And two. And last one. And push round the back to slowly, slowly rebuild that spine and stack all the way up. Good job, you guys. Let's get rid of the box. And we're going to go to two red springs only. So two heavy springs. All right, before we lie down, we're gonna sit on the carriage. You can either cross your legs or have your legs straight between the shoulder blocks, whatever you prefer. If you're sitting here with the legs straight, find those sit bones, sit up tall. If it helps to bend the knees a little bit, like me, to sit up a little taller, do that. Or you can plop up on a little wedge or pillow also, that helps. Grab your straps off the shoulder blocks. Cross them, hold on to the short straps, palms face the floor, roll the shoulders back in place. Navel to spine, tail pulls down. Bend the elbows and hold. Squeeze those shoulder blades together and down. I know the weight is heavy. Extend the arms back, we're rowing. So let the row come from the shoulder blades wanting to squeeze together and down on the back, not from the elbows, just pulling back. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but let me do it wrong. Where it's my elbows leading, this is what it looks like. Where it's my back, I don't know if you can tell, but maybe, hopefully. <laughs> nice, you guys, we're here for five and four, three, two, last one. Round your body forwards for a stretch. So I don't know if this is actually gonna make a difference, but it's a nice little way to make us do another set. So we're gonna cross the straps the other way. The strap that was on the bottom goes on top. Grow tall, build your spine, shoulders back. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and down, pull back. Grow tall and squeeze, and front. Nice, you guys, stabilize that spine. So especially if you have your legs crossed, the spine wants to wobble a lot more this way, so you're gonna have to work with your core a little bit more to stabilize that shape. We're here for five, four, three, 
two. And one. Awesome. Round your spine. Shake it out. Good. We're going to end lying down on the reformer. So, uh, my pregnant chicas, if you have, and mine is somewhere here, a wedge, go ahead and place that on your reformer. Stacking some pillows will help too to keep the heart higher than the hips. So, we're still on those two reds. Uh, let's keep that for now. Let's bring the bar up one notch. Okay. So make sure your straps are hooked so you can, you can grab them and make sure your ball is like close to your shoulder blocks on the floor. Go ahead and lie on down. Grab your straps. Place your feet inside the long loops. Make sure they're nice and snug by your heels and grab your ball. This is why you want your prop close to your shoulder blocks so you don't have to reach it all the way back. Okay, place the ball between the ankles. My inner thighs are already shaking. Okay, so legs up to the ceiling and then make sure they're not locked. We're gonna just keep them, the knees, the knee joints lightly bent, so just unlocked. Now squeeze the ball, hinging from the hips, low or down to 45 and pause. Press your ribs down into the carriage, draw the belly in and up. Slowly bring the legs back up, sticking your tail into the carriage. So don't do this, where your tailbone comes up, Try to keep your spine neutral. Squeeze the ball to lower and slowly back up. Feet are parallel. Think core work as the legs lower. Your back ribs are gonna wanna kind of lift up a little bit more. Press them down when the legs lower down. Let's go for three more. And two. Last one, hold it down, pause. Little tiny pulses here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, keep the ball there, but have it so it's just your heels holding the ball and your toes are pointing out and pause. From here, we're gonna go for our frogs. So, imagine you're dragging your, line, your heels on a line parallel to the floor to bend your knees in and then slowly push out. So having the ball between your heels or a pillow, for example, instead of just your heels together, it's a little more challenging, it's a little more wobbly, and it forces the legs to work extra hard to work together at the same time with the same effort, the same amount of force. And exhale, draw the belly in as you press out. And really reach those heels out over the bar, pulling on that spine. And three, two. Last one, hold it, and little squeeze pulses for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift the legs up, go ahead and take the ball out. Bottoms of the feet together. Keep the right knee bent, extend the left leg out to the side. Bend left knee and extend the right leg out to the side. And bend the knee back in. And go ahead and take off the straps, you can just Hook them up or dump them back there inside your well. Carefully coming up, you guys. We're going to add a red. So you have three reds all together. Three heavy springs. Lie back down. Place your toes on the bar, fist distance apart. Roll the shoulders back, letting the rib cage, the back of the shoulders melt into the carriage. Heels are not super high, not super low, right in the middle here. Knees are pulling, tracking straight up to the ceiling not out to the sides or in. We're gonna press the carriage out and slowly back in. Engage the glutes to push out and relax on the way in. Good. As you press out, draw navel to spine, lengthen through the spine. Let's go for five. So exhale on the way out, engaging the glutes, four, releasing on the way in. Three, two, 
last one. Bring it in, pause, let's switch the breath. This time, be light, don't squeeze your glutes, be light on your feet as you press the carriage out. Let's inhale. As you come in, exhale, push into that bar like you wanna push it away from you. Inhale out, exhale, push that bar. So we're putting the emphasis on the way in with this version. And five. Three. Last one, bring it halfway in, pause. We're gonna lower both heels together at the same time and lift. So similar to how we were on, standing up on the platform and carriage. Just lowering and lifting, again, targeting those quads. Trying to lower the heels at the same time. We're here for five more. Four, stabilizing the pelvis, three. Two, one, lift the heels, press it out. One more series like this, or one more set rather. Bend halfway in, lower and lift. Good, you guys, awesome. Almost done. And five, four, three, two, one, lift the heels, press it out. Just lower your heels underneath the bar for a nice calf stretch. Lift the heels, bring the carriage in. All right, let's stretch out those quads. So come on up. If you had a pillow or a wedge, go ahead and get rid of that. And we're gonna uh, <clears throat> come up into our knees, facing that bar. Get rid of all your springs except for one red. Keep one red spring. Okay, <clears throat> place your right foot on the platform and then your left foot can kind of just tuck under and just readjust where you need that knee, that left knee to be. Okay, keep the carriage in, come up to just kneeling, upright kneeling, hands on the hips. Now, instead of pushing the carriage out right now, try to pull your hip, your front hip crease forwards without dumping into your lower back either, but front hip forwards, pull the tail to the floor to lengthen, pull the pubic bone up, engage through that left glute. Now, you can lean back a little bit, letting that thigh bone kind of pull back with you slightly. And then if you want a deeper stretch, go ahead and push that carriage out a little bit. You don't need much. So it's like that knee and the pubic bone want to pull upwards as your trying to kind of pull back and resist. Couple more breaths here. And bring the carriage in, let's do the other side. Right knee down, left foot on the platform, keep the carriage in. So again, grow tall. Engage through that right glute. Try to tuck your tail. Pull that knee and that pubic bone up a little as you lean back slightly. And if you'd like slightly deeper, go ahead and push that carriage out a little bit. So we're fighting it. We're trying to do this. And breathe. So you should feel nice stretch there along your right quad. Couple more breaths. Bring the carriage in. All right, you guys, that's it for the workout for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Bye.